Whew. Okay, y'all. It's hot. And it's kind of humid today. But um, my wipes, I tell you what, I take those in everywhere. Um, so I, I had two bags of trash in the box of, um, I mean in the trunk, the back. It looked like he tore one of those lunch sacks open and threw it on the ground. I can't really tell. You just don't know what people are going to do, y'all. But um, I'll wipe the back of my van really good, and I have a good tarp back there. But it just saddens me. At least he got his bike going. Um, why he was still angry, I don't know. Probably because um, he just is. Drugs will do that to you. And so will alcohol. That's why I am saying, and I don't care who agrees with me, or thank goodness, who agrees with me or disagrees with me. I don't know where my hair thingy is. Um, much rather see people smoking pot. Never seen an angry pot person or a destructive pot person. Never. And I was around it all the time. In fact, I, I think I've said this in a video before. My little brother, who was two years younger than me, uh, yeah, he was a druggie. He ended up in prison and he got murdered on Christmas Eve. But I was living in a really nice little single-wide mobile home. And um, I was changing this. Uh, that's not exactly an entrance there, folks, but whatever. Um, so I was changing the sheets on my bed, and I thought, let me turn my mattress. And, um, and I was going to vacuum both sides of it. And when I went to flip my mattress, there was a lid of pot under my mattress. Now, I don't know how much a lid is, y'all. I just know that um, it is like a, like a Ziploc baggie. It's about that fat, about that fat, if you roll it up. It's a lot of pot, y'all. And I flushed it down the toilet. I mean, I thought he was going to kill moi. He was so mad at me. And so I said, uh, don't hide your crap in my home. Don't do it. When people are doing drugs and they're drinking alcohol, my gosh, some alcoholics, I've seen some alcoholics that I had a friend, he just turned into the sweetest guy. If you needed anything, do you need some money for groceries? Is your car running okay? I mean, he was an absolute amazing friend and then there were the violent people and you don't just go from having a few beers or a few uh, you know drinks of uh, strong alcohol well maybe strong alcohol you don't go from being normal to ballistic just like that it starts building up and so you can tell, and you need to get the heck out of there. And I've done that, and I had a couple of really young friends that had a baby. Um, back then, having kids out of wedlock was a real no-no, but her parents were 
like one of the wealthy people in our little town. But, um, oh, this Marine got out of his uh, truck in front of me in line at Starbucks. And that little Jeep came in off the street and cut in front of him. Now, everybody doesn't know the protocol. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he's not a Marine. He's got a big tummy. Um, but anyway, uh, but now, most of my friends did some of all of it, okay? Uh, they drank. Oh, sweetie, I got my paper towels up there in your bed, and you're not liking that. Okay, we're going to go home for now. Um, so... Pretty much all of them uh, did pot. Most all of them smoked, but not all of them used alcohol. Now, for one thing, most of them barely could hang on to a job, and so you couldn't afford to do both. You had to pick your poison. But when I was around my friends that were smoking pot, they were inside, of course, because it was illegal, and they were the most laid back, lazy bunch of people. Crazy. Come on, honey. And um, nobody, nobody, not one person was violent. They knew they had to stay in the house, okay? Or they were going to get in big trouble. 3,000 people in your little town, and I don't know if we had two or three policemen. I dated one of them for a while. Um, but, you know, uh, they would get you. Yeah, they would. So... They knew it was going on, and they never raided anybody. But don't get your butt out and about. Although, they would get out and drive at night sometimes, 25 miles an hour. I'd be like, uh, you need to speed up. We're going to get run over. But, y'all, it is a world of difference. And I know... It, you know, in a perfect world, we would have no drugs. No drugs. And that includes alcohol. We would not have any of that. And we wouldn't have pot. But it's never going to be like that. But would I see, rather see people smoking pot? You bet you I would. I certainly would. I've experienced it all including seeing my sister tying off her arm to shoot up wine because that's all she had. That was it. I had to call CPS then. Sister, I'm sorry, but I know you know that it was necessary. Um, so... You can't expect people like that to be responsible. You can't expect them to be uh, neat and clean. And you can't expect them to uh, bathe in a, in a, you know, water hose or a spigot. Which is what John did when we got him a pair of shoes and new socks. We found a spigot. I forget where we were. I think it was the dollar. This is where, look at this. It's where, uh, do y'all see that peace sign? Is that cool or what? I've got one, a uh, flowered one on the back of the van, and um, it's upside down. Yeah, I didn't know any better. But anyway, y'all, um, oh, there's my other hearing aid trying to get away. Boy, I got to be careful of those, y'all, because when I had Medi-Cal, poor people's insurance, 
they paid for my uh, hearing aids. However, Medicare does not. Now, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. See, when I'm driving, I make a ton of videos. It's like one of y'all or a couple of y'all are sitting in here with me and we're driving down the road and we're just having these deep conversations only I'm the only one talking but um, it's just something that like I said I pot is fine I have no problems oh look at that truck I think I showed y'all that before. Is that not the cutest mailbox? Oh my goodness. Y'all, one of these days... Oh, shut up, Deborah Joy. You just jump around like a jackrabbit. But, um, so that's all I have to say on that. I could go all day long and tell you stories, you know, about my friends and my little brother and his friends and, you know, his... Uh, one of his best friends that murdered a night watchman. I mean, y'all go back to some of those videos and watch them, you uh, new folks in the community. Because I'm going to tell you, there's some stuff, man. I was raised, uh, you know, by alcoholics, and my siblings were drug addicts, and my friends were all drug addicts, and I used to bring Hazel out here to this park um, when she still walked in a straight line. Okay, she's getting a little fussy. There was a man, and he had two, at least, little kids in a stroller, and he was walking them. No mask. But, but when you're out like this, y'all, um, that lady has hers around her neck. I've got mine around my neck. But, um, y'all, I hope you're having a good day. You have to make it a good day, okay? It, they don't, they're not all good days, that's for sure. And I think I turned left to go home. Yeah. So, um, love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye now.